think there are enough of us here to get started. Um, I don't have a lot on the agenda today. Um, we have, at present, we have the the uh, bento viewer and the maintenance viewer both out in as release candidates. Uh, bento will get at least one more update. We've got a bug fix coming. Um, one or the other, one or the other of those will will very likely go to release between now and Thanksgiving, U.S. Thanksgiving. That is week after next. Am I getting that right? Um, so sometime in the next two-week interval. Uh, and then the other one will probably become the default viewer within a week or two after that. Uh, more likely than not the week after Thanksgiving. So the last week in November, beginning of December. Uh, the next, the uh, which is the, uh, I saw that that was being worked on. I didn't see which release stream that was going into. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to go into this main or the next one. Probably ends up depending on whether Mate goes first or or Banto goes first. But Bento would already have that bug too, because that went in in the last in the last release view. Right. So it is, you know, in the pipeline. Uh, we have we have one fix that Fear has got for Bento that corrects a problem that was uncovered with older content. Uh, I'm not sure how <laughs> uh, how bad that will be, but uh, that, that is how widespread it was. But it's one we know how to fix, so we're fixing it. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised at how few of those there have been. I'm very pleased. Uh, uh, is that, yeah, right. Yeah, we've gotten bug reports about three different wearables and they're all different causes. So. Right. Uh, unfortunately, the werewolf problem is is not sufficiently specific. It turns out there's more than one werewolf problem. I mean, who would have known? <laughs> uh, werewolves turn out to be more than one kind of problem. Uh, let's see. Uh, other than that, uh, the only other news is that the 64-bit viewer project has now reached the point at which we have built all of the libraries we need to build, and we're actually building the viewer itself now. So uh, we are in the, if not quite the home stretch, at least we're in the the. Uh, the, the final term. So uh, our our goal is to get that out as a at least as a project viewer um, before the end of the year, and I think we're very much on track to do that. So everybody, uh, you know, appreciate your patience on that. I know it's been a long road. Uh, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. Um, we've made a lot of good Im improvements to our our uh, our tooling that will enable us to do large 
uh, upgrades like this significantly more easily in the future. Um, and of course, the first quarter of next year, I expect we'll be going through it again to upgrade to Xcode 8 and VS and Visual Studio 2015. So another big tools upgrade project. Yeah, so more, more prims, yay. Uh, so I guess that pretty much covers it. The floor is open. Uh, it would be surprising if there were not some additional content problems discovered after we decide to push this to the default release. Uh, it's not like we'll stop fixing them. We will. If we can. Well, if no one has anything, I'm collecting ways in which adding more prims is going to be the end of Second Life. So, if you find exciting new ways, <laughs> let me know.
Oh, good. It wouldn't. It wouldn't do if they hadn't found any. <clears throat> well, I think between more prims and bento. Uh, we on the development side of things feel pretty good about 2016. So, uh, you're making me nervous. It sounds like it's time to start a year in retrospect blog post going already. I'm not really ready for it. <laughs> We've had a very productive year. We have. And 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 that's only the stuff you can see. No, I meant I, I, I actually didn't mean that. I mean we've been making infrastructure changes and improvements that ultimately are not user visible. We have to we have to save some new stuff for next year. Well, and, and fewer that fewer than that in work weeks. You guys are awfully quiet today. Which no two topics? Jessica? Uh, if we if we if we clarify which things are hints and which things are just teasing, then it makes the teasing less effective. So we won't. All right, fine. I'll plug my new blog about uh, release notes for Web and Marketplace, which was long overdue. And I vow to keep it up to date, sort of, to the best of my ability. We'll try telling you about the things we're improving on the web instead of just doing it quietly. Uh, as a company, we're really excited about Sansar, but it will most emphatically not replace SL. Second Life is doing just fine, and we're going to keep it that way.
Well, if, if nothing else, uh, uh, we've spent quite a lot of time looking at the hardware people have that are using Second Life. And the sad fact is, a very large fraction of them are just not going to be anywhere near what they need to run Sansar. Uh, so, uh, this is... Uh, W w that that makes it clear to us that there's at least that much market for keeping sans Second Life alive, and even that would be more than enough. So we're going to just keep making it better. We're we're trying to move the bar so that Sansar has a bigger target space. Well, if nobody's got topics, we can be done early. We all know Oz likes to quit early on on uh, Fridays. Uh, let's see. Fix sky covered reverse to O2 when toggling. You back to region sky. I totally ignored your question on purpose, Whirler. Yeah, that one got, that one, the fix had problems and it's gotten moved to the next maintenance queue. Right. Well, it's, it's in the queue for the next mate. Hopefully it will be fixed then. Well, Willie knows I have a special place in my heart for wind light bugs, so. Yeah, I, I know.
Ja. Okay. Uh, let's just call it a day then. <laughs>